right there were workmen here two days ago who were stripping the paint from the wood frame. Now these wood frames, you might want to get a real close-up shot in a few minutes, are in pretty bad shape. And the, at least the paint that was on them was protecting them for a while. It's February. It's going to snow. It's going to rain. This is a west-facing wall, so the afternoon sun is going to continue to damage that wood now that they've taken the paint off. And now they've left the job. Two days. They've been gone from the job for two days. I don't think I want to eat this. And let's go to the corner of this of our building here. You can see where the downspout is gone. How long has that been gone? Oh, for as long as I can remember, Camille. Let's see. I remember a waterfall coming down there back in the 90s. Yeah. And we couldn't get anything fixed. And then Eastern Market Venture came along, and they haven't done anything either. No. So they've been letting this place rot. And then of the downspout leaking through our foundation. So even if even if that downspout worked, um, this has to be repaired. Folk, folks have been bumping into it, obviously. Right, with the and cars. it also has to, has to be repaired. Yeah. But there's a larger result of this. I saw no, that big where our tool room is. Yeah, I saw that. Um, so I want you to film that because there are two issues there. I, I saw where that it was has dirt. destroyed the, the, the okay. foundation. I wondered how years. this came about because when I was working mm. back here, we didn't have this lovely indoor oh. garden. Right. And you see, we've been keeping our um, ice to mm -hmm. de ice the, the front here, and that is going to affect if w there's too much ice in uh, s s salt mm -hmm. in this soil. When they come to repoint these bricks, that's going to affect the mortar that they put in. So this will have to be dug out to do it properly. Have to be dug out before they replace this foundation and the floor. Now, the gallery's been here 35 years, and um, from what I understand, OPM has basically said you've contributed greatly to, you know, the culture of Eastern Market. Thanks, and now that we're going to get indoor plumbing, we're going to let somebody else bid on the space that you have so they can do the kind of programs you've been doing, but we're going to pay them instead of charging you like we've been doing. And that's, that's pretty much what they've been that's saying. That's one of the messages. They, we meet so many different people because they don't stay in their jobs very long. That's true. And because so the current director is the to interim. Get up to speed. Once they get up to speed, they don't know who to believe because uh -huh. they're hearing stories from MCAC, from us, from OPM, from their Well, you know, this has been in the works for many years. Um, I think with Mayor Williams, uh, folks got a little stronger foothold, and it seems like Mayor Fenty is going to carry out the same agenda. But this goes long before Williams, and um, oh, absolutely. the folks on MCAC are, you know, they've been after this space for decades. So it's it's nothing new, mm -hmm. but the mayor is allowing it. And we need to be, one thing Diane is, is um, uh, not as concerned about as I am, I think she will be in the long term, is since they're not telling us what they're planning to do with the, the um, Atrium area. Well, they haven't included Market 5 in any of the planning with the architects. The acoustics are very, in this building are very important to us and to any artist. That the well, you know, they don't plan on be you being here. here. That's why they've completely ignored everything that the gallery has said right. as far as what they need. Right. So, let's see. Here they are getting ready to do the, well, start the renovation, and they haven't... Uh, well, they've shown us no plan, they've not included us in any plan, and we've said over and over and over, since we've been here 35 years running a nonprofit arts facility, we not only know the building intimately, but we know what an arts facility needs in terms of this renovation. Because you cannot just drop the ceiling to insulate it, that will affect the acoustics. And the acoustics make this particular space usable with no electricity. A lot of people come in here, they do have electrified organs and they have microphones and so forth and so on. But you don't need it with the beautiful acoustics in this space. You can whisper in that corner, hear it. It's fantastic. It's wonderful. But they don't have an appreciation for this particular 
aspect of the space yeah. that we do. So and that's just one piece. That's just the acoustics. No, it's and additionally, one thing that I think is really important to note, both Tony Essie, who works for the D.C. Government Office of Capital Construction Over Oversight, and Matt Hussman, who works for the Office of Property Management, have both indicated to me that there has been a study done on the feasibility of making a sustainable building here. In other words, doing some solar, doing some um, insulation of the windows. But they haven't consulted. A and uh. they say they won't give me the figures. Uh -huh. Now, Matt Husband has told me yesterday that he will look for them, uh -huh. try to get me the figures. But Tony Essie said, no, you can't see them. 